Hello, hello. So today we finally start looking at radio navigation. Today we're going to look at one of the earliest radio instruments to be introduced to aircraft, the Automatic Direction Finder, or the ADF. This is what it looks like in our trusty little Cessna. So what is it and what does it do? An Automatic Direction Finder is a marine or aircraft radio navigation instrument that automatically and continuously displays the relative bearing from the ship or aircraft to a suitable radio station. ADF receivers are normally tuned to aviation or marine NDBs. So you know I like to keep things simple, so here's my interpretation of that. When you tune the ADF radio to the frequency of a radio transmitter, this yellow arrow will point to where the radio signal is coming from. That's basically it. Of course you can do a few cool little tricks with it, but that's the basic idea behind this instrument. Now there's something new I'm going to introduce you to, and that is a NDB. NDB stands for Non-Directional Beacon. This is a radio transmitter which sends out a signal in all directions. The term non-directional is used because the radio signal doesn't contain any directional information, whereas another form of radio navigation does, which we'll cover in a future video. So let's look at how we use it all. NDBs are normally represented with this icon, a pink circle surrounded by many pink dots. There's two important pieces of information that you need from the NDB when looking at it on a chart. The first is the frequency for that NDB, so you can tune into it and secondly is the Morse code identifier. When we're in the plane, we can listen to the Morse code to confirm that we've tuned into the correct NDB. Let's look at a quick example. Okay, so here we are in the Cessna, flying just south of Inverness Airport. So you can see I've put the um, Inverness NDB details up on the screen there. So the frequency is 328.0 and you can also see the Morse code uh, for IVR there as well. So. What we're going to do is, if we go down to the ADF radio here, and tune in 328, you should see the needle. We'll switch across there. So the airport is just to our left at the moment. You can't see it on the screen there, but it is there, trust me. Um, so if we want to listen to the Morse code to make sure that we've connected, or that we've tuned into the right um, NDB there, if you come to the row of buttons at the top of the radio stack here, and then click on the one which says ADF, like so. You give it a few I was gonna say you give it a few seconds and then you should hear the uh, the Morse code beeps will sound to identify which NDB station you've tuned into. So I'll shout out for a second. There you go. So you could hear it takes a little bit of getting used to listening to the um, the Morse code but once you've you've done it a few times then you'll recognize uh, the sort of the individual letters as they sound. So if we look again at the ADF indicator, so you can see that that will always point straight towards the NDB station, no matter what we do in the plane. So, for example, if we turn, like so, you can see the ADF needle is moving as well, because it will always point to the, um, the NDB station there. So you can see the airport ahead of us now. And just as it comes past the nose of the aircraft, you can see the needle tracks it, follows it the whole way. So there's two ways that we can use the ADF to navigate. Those are homing and tracking. Homing involves turning the plane so that the needle is pointed directly ahead, zero degrees on the indicator, and following the signal until you reach the NDB. This is the simplest way to fly, however it's not the best. If there's strong winds, for example, the plane would get blown sideways away from the NDB, and the plane would end up flying a kind of arc pattern towards the NDB. We can overcome this issue by tracking the NDB. So this involves a little bit of skill, but it will allow you to fly in a direct line to and from the beacon. What I'm going to do is dedicate my next video to tracking using NDBs, because I feel like it would be better looking at it in more detail in one video. And also, I don't quite understand it yet. Shh, don't tell anyone. So uh, hopefully I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.